Welcome to Mahina Yin for the month of August, the zodiac sign of strength, courage, leadership, self-expression, and the inner child. It's Leo season. Make sure to take a look in the description box to find out more about Mahina Yin, the playlist being used, etc. Grab your bolster, block, and meet me on the mat. We're gonna start off today in child's pose. Bring your toes to touch in the center of your mat, knees out wide, hands to the mat, and slowly begin to walk your hands forward, bringing your torso close to the mat. Perhaps your forehead touches. Perhaps you can stretch out long. Hips go back to your heels. You may also need some additional support, and that is beautiful as well. So for some modifications, you can take a bolster or a pillow, place it underneath your torso, really helps you sink and kind of find that comfort. You can also take a block, place it underneath your forehead if your forehead doesn't exactly reach the mat. You can also place it between your feet and sink your hips down on the the block as well. you are a little more flexible in this pose, you may find it really comfortable or an additional way to stretch your shoulders by bringing your ear to the mat, whether that's the right or the left. Feel free to take that variation. Um, I will cue about halfway through this hold if you did take that variation to switch. Start to allow your breath to just become natural. Close your eyes. Maybe let out a little sigh. Smile. And sink in. As we make our way through the first half of August, we have this beautiful Leo energy guiding us. And it's a very P month, what I'm calling a P month. We've got four really strong and powerful words that are going to be guiding us through the month of August, especially through Leo season. Productive, progress, promotion, and problem solving. As you sit and sink and hold, think about those words and how they're showing up for you today. What feelings, what emotions, what thoughts are triggered when you hear words like productive, progress, promotion, problem solving because these four words are really the connection point between the first of August 2021 all the way into Virgo season and kind of through the end of that month end of this month they're going to show up in many different ways They're going to show up for you different than they're going to show up for your partner, your friend, your mother, your child. And that's okay. This individual journey that connects us all takes time. Takes progress. problem solving 
it takes us knowing when to be productive in order to promote ourselves to that next level. Five more breaths. Slowly begin to ease yourself out of child's pose. If you have any blocks or bolsters, pillows, you can move them off to the side, coming into tabletop position. Bring your shoulders right over your wrists, hips right over your knees, knees about hip width apart. Finding a neutral spine, on your inhale, press your chest forward, gaze goes up, sink your belly closer to the mat, tailbone high. Exhale, tuck your chin, round your spine, tailbone down to the mat. Inhale, come forward, cow pose, gaze goes up, find length across your collarbone. Exhale, round. Push the mat away, find space between your shoulder blades. Two more with your breath, inhaling to come forward. Exhale, push the mat away. One more. On your next inhale, find your neutral spine. Bring your knees to touch and start slow hip circles, one direction or the other, doesn't matter. Do what honors you where you're at right now. Your hip circles, find that uniqueness. Channel that Leo energy and do what serves you. They may be small hip circles, large. They could go one direction and the other very quickly. Really dig in and make this your own. Find your authenticity here. Three breaths on your own. your way back to stillness. Come on to your sitting bones, legs go out straight in front of you. Keep your block, your bolsters handy to your side. I'm going to take hero's pose. Right side first, take your right leg and bend your knee, bringing your heel back towards the side of your glute. Keep your left leg extended out long. If this is uncomfortable, you can place a block underneath your hips, lifting yourself up a little bit. And then start to find your edge. You can place your hands behind you. Slowly walk them back. And if that's enough, stay right where you are. If you'd like a little extra, you can come down onto your elbows. And even further than that, down to your shoulders. Lying out. 
You can choose to bring your arms into a cactus position overhead, whatever serves you best. No matter where you are with hero's pose, make sure that you don't feel any sharp pains in your knee. If you are, you need to back off, come back into one of those different areas, whether that's the hands, the elbows, or just be sitting upright. That is a beautiful option. month of August always brings in this amazing alignment. It's called the 8-8 Lionsgate Portal. It's the time when the sun in its home sign of Leo connects with and aligns with Sirius, our spiritual sun, if you will, the second brightest star in our solar system. This is that super high vibe, incredible manifestation energy. It's a time to set intentions. It's a time to embrace abundance and create new beginnings. You also notice this day is when Orion and the pyramids of Giza align perfectly. So this portal has been utilized and observed and um, documented for a very, very, very long time. The energy that the Lionsgate portal brings with it is, for some, incredibly, incredibly potent. It's a way to go back to the words. It's a way to be incredibly productive with where you wanna go. What is the next step in your journey? How do you sink into your authenticity more? Also as a number eight, you have this beautiful number of wealth, abundance, ultimate potential with the infinity sign. Some of us may be feeling these energies right now as the portal has already been opened and will remain open even a little bit past the 8-8 date. This is the time, this is where that productive, the progress, um, maybe even the problem solving can really come in where you can really promote into that next level of being. Slowly begin to work your way back up be careful with your knee, honor your body and where it showed up today. You can extend your right leg out straight, shake out your legs a little bit. Bring some blood back in. And then let's go ahead and go over to the other side. Bending into your left knee, right leg remaining out straight. Again, use your block underneath your hips if that helps. Slowly start to make your way back. Come onto your elbows, potentially down to your shoulders. Finding a place where you can be.
not only do we have this beautiful 8-8 energy um, with the portal, we get the bonus of having the new moon in Leo on the same day. And that degree point is at 16 degrees. So not only do we have the 8-8 portal already vibrating at the 8 energy, but now we have the new moon at 16 degrees, which is another double eight. Um, and that will happen at 3.50 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. And this moon is all about you, yes. It's all the ways that yes shows up for you. Feeling your yes. Hero's pose can sometimes be challenging. As you can see, I can't even make it all the way down to my shoulders. And that can trigger your ego wanting to push, wanting to go farther than where you are ready to go. And so for the last two minutes while we hold this other side of hero's pose on our left side, our receiving side, our feminine side, let's really dig in and think about the ways that yes shows up. Begin to slowly make your way out. Left leg going back straight. Again, bounce your legs. Flop your feet open and closed. Just getting that blood back into the left leg. And then begin to make your way onto your knees. Hips on your heels. Palms face up in your lap. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Begin to take slow neck circles. Stretching into the neck, feeling those sticky spots, maybe pausing and breathing into them, allowing them to relax, release. Maybe even say yes. Find your way back to center. We're going to be coming into a supported camel pose. Since we will be holding this camel, um, if you do have a great camel practice, you can feel free 
to take the full version of Camel. Um, we will be queuing, and I will be queuing, excuse me, the more supported version since we will be holding this pose for a little bit longer. So the first is to take two blocks or some sort of bolster. You can even use books if you need to. Place them right behind your feet and you want them on a tall setting. Your hands are going to go here, bringing your hands behind you and holding on to these blocks so that way your chest can expand forward. Now again, if you have a strong camel practice, you may not need the blocks or the support. You can simply bring your hands to your feet and extending your chest forward. The point is, is to open the chest. Bring that heart energy, whether that's through the solar plexus into your heart, up into your throat chakra, really finding that expansion hitting all of the areas of Leo. Make sure you're continuing to breathe. Release your tongue from the top of your mouth. For those of you that would like to go a little bit further, inhale your hips up, push your hips towards the front of your mat, expand your chest even further, and perhaps even release your head back, opening up more into that throat chakra. Five more breaths. If your head is back, slowly Bring your chin to your chest. Begin to sit up straight. Heels and hips are still touching. Palms go face up in your lap. Bring your chin to your chest. Make sure that your eyes are closed and breathe deeply. in this moment with whatever shows up for you. Slowly inhale your chin back parallel, blink open your eyes, and come to lie on your belly for Sphinx Pose. Legs out long behind you, hip points in the mat. Bring your elbows right underneath your, short, your shoulders, forearms flat on the mat, hands out in front of you. You're looking like the Sphinx in Egypt. Unclench your glutes, let your legs just relax. Bring your heart forward, shoulder blades down your back. Find that expansion through the collar. It can be really comforting to take a block and place it in front of you on the high setting and bring your forehead to touch the block, letting your neck just relax and release. It's 
So we have this feeling of our yes happening. All the ways that yes shows up and maybe it's something super simple. Maybe it's saying yes to the food that you've always wanted to try or a book you have been putting off buying or the trip that you've decided just wasn't the right time for. It can be something really big like saying yes to buying that home or that car or taking the leap and saying yes to yourself and your entrepreneurship, your business venture. It's really about what you're ready to birth within yourself. It's finding this jubilation that you are becoming something new. This is that phoenix arising from the ashes energy. It's, you know, in Greek mythology, the phoenix rises from the ashes of your predecessors. And as I felt into this moon, it actually reminded me more of arising from the ashes of your predecessor, but that predecessor is you, who you used to be. For some of us, this moment could feel a lot like Icarus. It could feel like a wildfire. And all of that is exactly where everything needs to be for you to move forward. If you've placed a block under your forehead, you can move that off to the side and slowly make your way onto your back. Bring your feet down to the mat, take your block, and on an inhale, lift your hips up. Place the block right underneath the bottom part of your hips. You don't want it supporting the lower back or the mid back, you want it right underneath your hip bones, kind of the tail. And you're gonna bring your legs up to the sky, waterfall pose. Your arms can go wherever they feel comfortable. Your feet can just hang out. They don't have to be flexed or pointed. Close your eyes. Release tension in your face. Let your tongue rest comfortably right behind your teeth. Right after this moon, we have this amazing time frame. August 11th through the 14th. It is when Mercury, Mars, and Venus are all going to be in Virgo together. All of our personal planets, all of the physical action, speaking, beauty, um, relationship building, all of the things that we need to problem solve, progress, be productive, and have this promotion for where we're going they are all going to be in that Virgo energy where tangible things can happen. You make lists, you make plans, you execute, you see all the steps. It is extremely get it done energy. It is extremely do the work energy. And really, I'm calling it the big D energy. It is that time. 
it's a time for what intentions you set at the new moon, what you are saying yes to, what you have said that you want to birth within yourself. Um, you're, you've arrived, you've arisen, excuse me, out of the ashes. Now it's time to do the work. It's time to show that, yes, I've risen. I'm here and I'm dedicated to going on this path for the long term. Last five breaths. up, removing the block, bringing your hips back down. On an inhale, bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a beautiful hug, and then extend your legs out long. Final resting pose, Shavasana. Find comfort, tuck your shoulder blades under let your legs flop open, take up space. Be an authentic expression of where you're at right now, what your yes is right now. If you like to continue to relax in your savasana, please feel free to do so. For those of you that are ready, you can slowly bring movement into your hands and feet. Deep your, deep in your breathing. You can roll to one side of, or the other, coming into a fetal position. And slowly make your way up to sitting. Inhale, your hands touch overhead. On your exhale, allow your thumbs to touch your third eye, your chin and your heart. August, productive, progress, promotion, and problem solving. It's been an honor to lead you through your practice today. Remember, as on your mat, so in your life. Namaste.